a very good morning to all in the last class we started with the sixth chapter and we learned about reproduction in animals and we learned that animals reproduce in two ways first one by giving birth and the second one is by laying eggs so in the last class we learned about reproduction in animals and we learned that animals reproduce in two ways first one by laying eggs and second one by giving birth to young ones and we discussed about the egg laying animals and today we are moving on to a new topic which is about the life cycle of a butterfly and life cycle of a frog so today we will be learning about the developmental stage of a butterfly and a frog so what does this life cycle means life cycle means the stages the different stages of life the different stages of life starting from the birth of a butterfly as well as a frog so there are some animals like frog and even there are some insects like butterflies their ones their young ones do not directly hatch from eggs they are the butterflies and there are some animals like the frog and butterfly so coming to the life cycle of butterfly so we all know that where do these butterflies lay eggs so you can see the female butterfly lay eggs so first the female butterfly lay eggs on plants and they lay lots of eggs so that some of them gets survived and from that these eggs hatch into larva or we call it as caterpillar and these caterpillar what do they feed these caterpillars feed on plants so the caterpillar feed on plants so the main job of this caterpillar is to eat food so they eat lots of food they eat plants they feed on plants so when this caterpillar grows it split its skin so what happen when it grows when the caterpillar grows it split its skin and shed them three or four times and when the caterpillar is fully grown and it stops eating and from this pupal stage it develops into an adult butterfly so from this pupal stage it develops into an adult butterfly and when it reaches into an adult butterfly it does not grow after that the main job of this adult butterfly is to lay eggs what was the main job of the caterpillar the main job of the caterpillar was to eat food so here the adult butterfly's main job is to lay eggs and they do not grow afterwards so this is the life cycle of a butterfly starting from its egg it lay eggs on plants and these eggs hatches into larva or caterpillar and these caterpillar what do they feed on they feed on plants and when they it grows the caterpillar grows then it forms pupa and from that it develops into an adult butterfly so this is the life cycle of a butterfly so now let's see a video on life of a butterfly so it is the female butterfly that lay eggs you can see the tiny caterpillar coming out of the shell this egg hatch into caterpillar now we can see the caterpillar eating the egg shell so the main job of the caterpillar is to eat food it feed on plants these plants will become food for the caterpillar gradually the caterpillar splits its skin and forms pupa and this pupa develops into a beautiful butterfly and you can see 
the pupa develops into a butterfly. And the butterfly looks very different from that of a caterpillar. We learnt that the main job of a caterpillar is to eat food. The main job of a butterfly is to lay eggs. You can see the beautiful wings. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly. Now let's move on to the next life cycle. It is the life cycle of a frog. So we know that frog also lay eggs to produce their young ones. So where do these frogs lay eggs? They lay eggs in water and they lay lots of eggs so that some of them get survived. And these eggs hatch into tadpole. And if you closely observe this picture, you can see these tadpoles are more like a fish. They have a long tail, they live in water, this long tail helps them to swim in water, they use their gills to breathe, they do not have legs. So these tadpoles look more like a fish. And do you know what these tadpoles feed on? They feed on the water plants. They feed on water plants. And next stage is the froglet stage. And during this stage, their lungs began to grow so that they will be able to breathe out of water. So we all know that frogs live, in, live on land as well as in water. So in this stage, in this froglet stage, their lungs began to grow so that they will be able to breathe out of water. And at the same time, their legs began to grow. And gradually, what happens is, they have that long tail, right? So these long tails become shorter and shorter. That means it becomes, it starts to disappear. These long tails starts to disappear. And at the same time, they will be able to breathe through their lungs. They start breathing through their lungs. And next stage is the adult frog. From this stage, it transforms into an adult frog. In that stage, they will be able to hop, on, hop in and out of water and onto the land. So this is the life cycle of a frog. It starts from an egg. The life cycle of a frog begins in an egg. So these eggs hatch into tadpoles and they look like a fish. They look more like a fish than a frog. And next stage is the froglet stage. And this stage, their lungs and their legs began to grow. Then gradually what happens? Their tails become shorter and shorter. They disappear. And then their lungs they will be able to breathe through their lungs and then forms into the adult frog. So this is the life cycle of a frog. Now let's see a video on the life cycle of a frog. It is the female frog that lay eggs. You can see the female frog laying eggs. It's lay eggs in water. It lay lots of eggs so that some of them get survived. Gradually, after a week, these eggs starts to develop. You can see the little tadpoles are developing. The eggs hatch into tadpoles. The eggs hatch into tiny tadpoles. And these tadpoles look similar like a fish. They can swim. They do not have legs. They breathe through their gills. They feed on the plants that are present in water. And gradually, over the weeks, their lungs and legs began to grow. As their lungs grew, 
they will be able to breathe outside the water. Gradually, their tails become shorter and shorter. They began to look like a frog. Now they will be able to hop out of land and into the water. So this is the life cycle of a frog. So in this class we learned about the life cycle of a butterfly as well as the life cycle of a frog. You can take page number 61. There are four questions given. The first one, the eggs of a butterfly hatch into a caterpillar tadpole. So what is the answer? The eggs of butterfly hatch into caterpillar. The second one, a tadpole breathes through. How do they breathe? They breathe through their lungs or gills. They breathe through their gills. The third one. The process of keeping the eggs of birds warm is called hatching incubation. So what is it? What is the answer? The answer is incubation. And the fourth one. Snails and lizards give birth to young ones, lay eggs. So they lay eggs. They are egg-laying animals. So I hope you all understood about this topic, the life cycle of caterpillar and life cycle of frog. So animals reproduce in two ways, by laying eggs as well as by giving birth to young ones. So let's meet in the next class with a new topic. So till then, thank you.